is for dullness. So I kind of feel like spreading that all over my body. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Today we're gonna try something fun from Instagram that I've been seeing a lot of lately. Although contouring is nothing new, it is this strange new method of contouring that I find very intriguing. I'm talking about dot contouring. Unlike regular contouring, dot contouring is using the same products that we normally would to contour our faces, yet dotting it like a matrix on your face. So in today's video, we're gonna give dot contouring a try. Why? Because Instagram. Now along with the basic natural contouring colors, I have acquired a rainbow to put upon my face. Now as you can see, I have no face makeup on today, just the eyes, but my dark circulars and my blotchiness are screaming right now. So let's get to contouring. I'm gonna start out with a primer in order to spread the contouring more evenly, and I'm using the Ordinary High Spreadability Primer. All primed. So we're gonna start with green, which evens out redness, and I've got plenty of that going on. So let's start with that, and I'm gonna use a Q-tip because you can make a nice, round dot with that. Okay, done with the green. We are gonna move on to, we're gonna move on to purple. And purple is for a sallow skin. And where that is on my face is around my eyes. So let's dot that up. Okay, so that's all the purple we're gonna do for now, and I'm gonna switch to pink. Pink is for dullness, so I kind of feel like spreading that all over my body to take away the dullness, because I'm pretty dull. Concealer gives much needed radiance. Radiance! I need some of that right here. What shocks me on these Instagram posts and videos is the fact that these colors just blend into the face without leaving a rainbow on your skin. And we're gonna put some pink on the sides of my nose. Next, we're gonna do yellow, and I have used a yellow concealer before. It's just a bright red dot can be covered up really well with yellow or green. And with my skin tone, yellow has worked really well in the past. Yep, I'm reading it here. It says, yellow is perfect for hiding red or purple pigments found under eye circles, bruises, and veins. I've got a lot of dots under my eyes right now, so I don't think yellow is gonna fit, but I'm just gonna throw some in there. I kind of have a feeling that the colors in this dotting will kind of work anywhere that you put them. And then on the chin. So I think I'm finished with the colored portion of my contouring. I'm gonna go with the brown color to create those contours underneath my cheekbones and around my forehead. Yellow better look out because some brown's coming. And for the brown color, I am going to use NYX Wonder Stick. And as tempted as I was to just sharpen this and create the dots, I'm gonna continue with the Q-tip. I can already tell you that this dotting, of course, takes a lot more time than the regular contouring swipes would. I'm dotting it this way. My laziness prevails, once again. Okay, for the lightest skin tone on my face, I am going to use my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer, and it is a very light color because I'm pasty. I need more Wonder Stick right over here. Okay, so now, any bare spot that I see, I'm throwing some of this on there because I need it to be even. Okay, I want purple on my upper lip. Not sure why, not sure it belongs there, but I'm doing it. I'm drawing a line. Throwing a line in with the dots. Um, feeling good about the dots. Feeling like my beauty blender is going to create something marvelous and artistic on my face. So I've got my beauty blender and I'm just gonna do it. I'm going, probably fast motion because it could get boring. And ready, set, go. anymore. I feel like all of the colors have sort of blended together to make 
just one color, just one very pale face. No different than if I were to just put on either a foundation or concealer all over my face. I think perhaps the colors and the highlight and contour need to be done separately, meaning those rainbow colors separate from the skin tone and darker contour shades. But what I'm gonna do right now is add some blush because I need a little bit of well, contour on my face. And I'm gonna keep with the dots. Now this is some chicken pock looking stuff right here. And instead of a beauty blender, I am going to just use my blush brush because that works better for me. There we go, rosy cheeks. But here is my individual dot contouring result. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's necessarily great. I do think that this is just a trend, not necessarily something that you would do on an everyday basis. It's just a very showy way of doing regular makeup. It certainly is a more time consuming one. Not better, just different. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and I will see you very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye. What do you think?